Okay, friends, I want to show some of you viewers who have asked about the two different frame sizes that I'm running in my apiary. I've got medium Langstroth five frame nukes. That's uh, something that I've been doing for the entire 12 years of beekeeping so far for me. And I've raised nukes uh, on those five frame medium frames all this time. But I've uh, gone into the horizontal hive setup. I really do like it better. And uh, one of the reasons, I'll tell you right off the get-go, one of the reasons why I liked it better was yesterday uh, I was out harvesting honey out of my Langstroth hives. And of course I had to take the top off each one. It seemed like the minute I took the top off, I had bees going everywhere. I had to be in and out of those hives in five minutes or less. It felt like a race because I had robber bees trying to get in there. Of course the temperatures are warm still and the nectar sources are dwindling so the bees are a lot more opportunistic and so they were really coming at it but today was a totally different ball game because in my horizontal hives I only had to open up a portion of the hive at a time and I start from the back of the hive away from the entrance where all the honey is and I can just take off those uh, plywood covers one at a time and get to the honey so the experience for harvesting the honey was a lot more relaxing. Same conditions, not that much has changed from yesterday to today. But I want to just show you something real quick. Uh, if you're thinking about going horizontal, I would say go ahead and take the plunge and go right into the Lands Hive. All right, this is a Lands frame. Okay, I've got the dowel. You can see the dowel in here, and this is a, a partial frame of honey, and this is so easy to handle. Um, the bees winter over in this area right here and you can see that this was at one time brewed. You, you can see the darkness and they've got the honey band across the top. Now I combined two colonies and so they all shifted down to one side where the queen was and so they all abandoned this here. So I'm just going to harvest the honey out of here. But what's really nice about the Layens hive is it's narrow. All right? It's much narrower. I'm going to show you the other frame in just a minute. Um, and the bees can winter on this. This is typically what they'll winter on. The cluster will be right here, and they'll have all their food stores right here. This is why I really like the Lands Hive configuration. Now let me show you the Langstroth modified one. It's basically uh, the equivalent of a double deep. All right, so you guys that are running Langstroth deeps, I'm gonna show you the equivalent to that right here. Well, all right, correct, okay. This, this was a whoops. I'll show you the whoops. All right, this is a medium frame, and it's full of honey. And look at the, uh, I forgot to put the extension. I, I have frame extensions. I'm going to show you that in a minute. <laughs> I've got one uh, that's the way it should be. So this is what the bees will do without a frame extension. They'll just start drawing the comb wherever they see fit. And a lot of times it's crooked. And that has to do with airflow in the hive. But let me get one now that's on the frame extension. Here we go. All right, this is the equivalent. This is the equivalent of a double deep. It's got a medium frame on top, and it's got enough space below it that it would become the equivalent of two uh, deep frames, Langstroth deep frames but they've only used the top portion of it, but that's fine. This, was, uh, this is a colony that produced four extra medium frames of honey after the dearth, and they still got plenty out there that's uh, still nectar waiting to be capped, but uh, I can go in the spring and get some more if I want. So overall, a yearly harvest still might wind up being closer to Dr. Leo's 20 pounds. I just gotta wait and see. Right now, I think I'm averaging about seven and a half pounds, which doesn't sound like anything great at all. But you, you have to take into account the, the climate zone we're in. You have to take into account the bees also winter here in Georgia. We get cold temperatures down in the 20s and high teens. Um, so their activity and honey consumption goes way down. But during the dearth, there's no food, hardly, and they're consuming a lot more honey during those warm temperatures. But anyway, they still gave me four frames of honey. But I'll tell you what, 
I'm just going to talk to you for just a second about the handling. This, this is so much easier to handle than this, and this isn't even fully drawn. Can you imagine what this is, would be like if this frame was fully drawn? I, uh, I had somebody uh, ask me about that, and I told them it's kind of like handling a sheet of drywall. It's just an exaggeration, but you get the point. This, this is kind of uh, hard to handle. And, you know, it, but if you want to do it, that's fine. I'm just telling you what my thoughts are. This is way easier to get in and out and handle as far as uh, beekeepers. Well, I shouldn't say. This is a, a lot easier frame to handle than this one is. I'm not saying that you shouldn't do it, but I'm just telling you my preference. And if you're just starting out in beekeeping and you haven't gone down into a hive up to your elbows yet, um, this might be something you want to think about right here the lands um, frames and the lands hives. I really do like them a lot more. So that's my two cents on the frames and maybe, you know, maybe my input will help you, um, but it's okay, you, you gotta learn and experiment and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm experimenting with these two frame sizes and I've already made my decision. I'm not doing any more like this. This is okay, I've already got two hives out there that are using that configuration, so they're just gonna be that way. That's how they're gonna stay. I'm not gonna worry about them. If anything, I'll let them uh, swarm out. I'll, and I'm usually around to capture the swarms, and uh, I've got swarm traps up on the property, and just in case I'm not there to, to catch them, and I, I get them in those. So um, the survivability of them is what I'm really after, and the good genetics. So as far as frame sizes go, um, that's, that's about it. So I hope this was helpful, and I hope this will maybe help you in your decision-making process as far as, you know, should I go with the lands frames? Because let's face it, I really wanted this one, the, the Langstroth frame, because I was already using Langstroth equipment. I've already got Langstroth medium frames, and I thought it'd be so great to just tack on an extension below those frames and then just use them, and then I could, you know, swap frames here and there if I needed to all one size, but to be honest with you, the lands hive frames, the lands hives and lands frames, they're just so much easier to work with and I, I'm just gonna go with them. That's gonna be my new standard. Well friends, I hope that you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up and give it a like. Um, thank you for all the new subscribers. If you're not subscribed already, uh, hit the subscribe button and I'll try to keep making more videos. So have a great season, friends, and we'll see you in the next video.